It's been 11 weeks since we last saw all of our favorite Challenge Superstars compete for the very best in the Challenge in the Universe. And now, live from Phoenix, Arizona, we proudly present the return of our 64th season of Challenge in 2018 with Wii 14's action. And your family is most ready to kick off the remainder of the second half of the season. Here's Brad and Jennings! Hi, Phoenix! We're glad to be back! Are you ready for Week 14? Yes, we are! We gave you the thumbs up! And how are you doing, fans? Home. Welcome back to the 64th season of Challenge 2018 as we come up the second half of the season here in Phoenix, Arizona. Wow, the first 13 weeks was all satisfying results. That's right, Brandon. And now we're getting ready for the second half of the season. Yep, everyone is well trained since their training camp over the course of the summer. So let's head down to the field for the first race of our return season. Right, here we go! First up today is the success to Jet Nellis, who is training hard to get a win during the second half season. He'll be taking on Derek to play, Nick Gimmick, who is one of the members of the 2014 Tag Team Champions, along with Jason Hill. And of course, JJ Nima is with us as well for this first race. So let's see who's going to come on top to start the season. Let's make the second half of the season an enjoyable one. Please start the race! Oh yeah, by the way, that's our new sound for the starting game for the Challenge in 2018 season. Make sure you hear that every time we start the race. And Derek the play is going to rest. That means the other three shall will have control over the opening edge. But who will really have control once they shake the palm trees and eat the food? We'll find out soon enough, as the fans are on their feet for the return of the 61 season. And Jeff Nellis is, is going away. And look at that. The other two Challenge dancing to me. So Jeff Nellis is going to have the upper hand of having full control of this match. And let's find out who will get the first opening toss of our return season. It's going to be number two who gets it, taking the bridges along with Derek the play. And right now it is number seven who is left behind in the competition, all the way in the back of the pack. Rules game speed is number two. It's going to be our current leader by what looks at, yep. JJ Nima got speed miss number two of our return season for week 14. Derek the play is trying her best not to get left behind for number two and number eight. And it looks like Derek the play talks for more. And we're approaching the one minute mark of our first race of our return season of Challenge 2018. And right now, Derek the play will get speed miss. Will we get some more? We'll find out soon enough. Meanwhile, JJ Nehemiah is trying his best to catch up with Nick Gimmick as and Jeff Nellis as he makes his way towards the sci-fi portion of the course. As the next viewers we meet by, number 7, who is way behind on the way in the back. And he talks for more. I think he needs a lot more help than that. JJ Nehemiah started to get tailgated, but Jeff Nellis, watch your back, JJ. <coughs> And number seven will get a second cut second of speed bus. But I think that's all it's gonna get for a while. And look at this, Jeff Nellis has made the pass from JJ Nehemiah. He is the he is stronger than JJ Nehemiah. Let's see what happens here as the two try and make their way towards home stretch. Who's gonna win this one? We'll find out soon enough. Next beers belongs to Nick Gimmick! Well, that's always the rest of the season. I don't think we'll be able to make it on the first place. And JJ Nehemiah is scoring the best. That means Jeff Nellis will have full control of the lead for the second time in this race. As number one, who dominates over the fourth to a child in fourth place, takes the next come as SPS. If JJ Nehemiah doesn't get SPS, Jeff Nellis is start with season return will end it in success. And he will be number eight on the next come SPS. So Jeff Nellis is going to hold on JJ Nehemiah for the victory. Gemini is the winner of my first race of my season return show. A success for Gemini after having only two wins during the first half of the season. Great job by Gemini. And there to play will close us be us. Barely passing number one for fourth place. Alright, a successful start for Gemini in the second half of his 2018 season. But how long was we last? I don't know, Paul. But, but I do know that we'll be right back in these messages, so stay tuned. Alright, that's one race down, now it's time for race number two. 
And for race number two, Brandon will feature Josie Double John Stevenson, Fred Everson of the Dazzling Aces, Kenny Days, one half from the Davis Brothers, and 2018 senior class rookie, Chip Subay. Everyone is on the clock, so about further ado, let's bump this place! Superstars are off and running as they resume their duties for the Quest for the 2019 World Championship title. And Chip Sube is gross. So he's going to be left behind in the competition for a while. By now, let's watch the other free child as they check the palm trees and bring down that coconut cheese fruit. And now they're going to eat the fruit. And it looks like Fat Harrison is going to have a command on the lead, followed by number two in second place. John Stevenson and Kenny Hayes are battling with number one for third place. <coughs> and it looks like Fred Anderson is flying to underwater. And Chip Survey, who desperately needs to help dancing to the beat back in the Hippolytus, takes the winning toss this time around. It looks like F Fred Anderson and Kenny Hayes are both fending for the water. So they are going to be battling for the lead up in the front. They are making their way towards the other side of the water. And now they are making their way towards the top of the hill. As Chip Subai, who still really needs help, opens this one up with back to back spewers. And look at that. He passes number 8 and number 1. Number 8 passes for more. So now number 8 will be left behind in the competition for a while in last place. And now here comes the final kiss like in the speed bus for Chip Subai. He ain't sure he moved up a couple places that time. But will he make it all the way in the first place? We'll find out soon enough as we pass the 1 minute mark. Fat Harrison currently has the lead over Kenny Nace, but anything can happen in the Channel Racing Universe. That's the model we see each and every week here on Channel Racing 2018. As the next viewers we made by number one, who is fighting when number seven for sixth place. Poor number eight really needs some help. I think he needs us some spears, and I mean now. But right now, let's head back to number one. And look at that. He now takes the lead over the four to a Chow. Yeah, all speed runs are consecutive so far. Back up in front, Fred Harrison and Kennedy's are making their way towards the wall with Chip Survey right on the turn third place. Who's gonna come up on top? We'll find out soon enough. Next period belongs to number eight. He finally got some help, but I think he's gonna be left behind still. And look at that. Fred Harrison and Kennedy's and Chip Survey are gonna rest. This should be an exciting contest to remember. Fred Harrison and Kenny Days will be making their way towards the whole stretch at the other side of the Sapphire course. And who got the next one? It is number two, who wakes up for his now and now leaving number seven left behind in sixth place. And Fred Harrison should wrap up this race. Kenny Days all oh, went a little too far that time. And Chip Sibai won't have enough distance to catch up to Fred Harrison in time. Fred Harrison is going to start the second half of the victory this week as number 7 takes the next command for us and number 8 is getting left right behind the competition You can tell me what off for Fred Harrison of the Dazzle Aces He beats out Chief Sibby and the rest of the pack Yep, number 8 is hopeless ladies and gentlemen as the Jersey General John Stevenson will get the last speed bus on his face who won him in 4th So Fred Harrison is back on the right track that's right, now let's hope he stays that way. Coming up, we got more exciting action for you, but first have a look at this. Alright, next race up, please. Okay, race number three will feature Alex Fabius Warner stealing man of the Logan Irish, taking on John Miller of the Dazzling Aces, the Bobby Maid of Bobby K, and Luke Green, who is one half of the tag team by the from last season. There's Logan around for this next race. And let's head down to the field again. Everyone is on the clock and go on to the next four superstars on a quest for victory. Here we go. Please start the race. <coughs> okay, there goes the next four superstars. Pressing down the line. Looks like the Bobby made a Bobby K is off to a pretty good start. The others are trying to catch up to him in a hurry. And it looks like John Miller is pausing for more and trying to get some attention here. And now the channel going to eat the food. And there goes Bobby K. He is going to have a command on the way up in the front. And look at that. He'll have plenty of room ahead of Steve Wayman because Steve Wayman is going to rest. And he is going to be heading for the one, trying to maintain his lead. As Steve Wingman, who wakes up for a snap, wins to you when he draws. Now trying desperately to get back in this one. 
Numbers 2 and 3 are getting left behind at the competition all the way back. Along with John Miller, the Dazzling Aces. As John Miller, who also decided to take the water, takes B bus number 2 this race. Numbers 2 and 8 decide to take a bridges, and number 8 is Cortez. <clears throat> so number 8 is going to be left behind in the competition for a while. Number 2 and number 2 talks for more. So number 7 will leave numbers 2 and 8 in the dust. As the next speed race we made by, uh, it's about Miss Warriors, the link man, that uh, makes his second speed race to the race, and we're approaching the one minute mark. Currently, it is Bobby K who leads over Luke Green. Making his way to the sapphire portion of the course. And let's see who's going to get the next command of speed bus. <coughs> who will get the next speed bus? It's going to be number 7 who gets it. Trying to defend Dior over number 2 and 8. But he is way behind in the competition. He and number 2 and 8 are all getting left behind from the competition. From number 1 who leads over the force of a giant fifth place. I do believe one of those three Simba Child needed the Suspibas. Which one of them will get that chance? It's number A, who really is in deep trouble. Meanwhile, Bobby K is starting to get tailgated by Stealing Man and Rue Green. What's gonna happen? Bobby K has reached the top of the wall, <clears throat> and he is gross. That means Stealing Man will have command on the lead up in the front. Very interesting indeed. Next PS belongs to number two, and yes, and the Sting Wingman has made a comeback here, folks. Now he's trying to defend the lead over Bobby K, who ran for most of the entire race. And it looks like John Miller on the Dazzling Aces will get his second speed race of the race, but it'll be a mirror going to catch up on the way in the first place. Looks like Sting Wingman has a little bit of room to mumble ahead of Bobby K. He is going to win this one for sure. <coughs> Blue Green with the next command Spears, but that will only be enough to make the pass for Bobby K for a second place. Stealing Man holds off him and Bobby K to win this one. Blue Green will come in second, followed by Bobby Green in third place, and John Miller will wrap up the race in fourth place. So, Stealing Man may have enough speed bus after taking a rest, and now he has nine wins up on board. That's right, he's doing a pretty good job keeping up with his solid season. And as more time coming up, do not go away! Okay, welcome back to Chow Racing. Who do we have next, Paul? Race number four will feature the fastest runner of the fall portion of the season, Joe Raffley. Taking on Alm Heen Sr. of the Steel Drive, the Licenser Drive, as a matter of fact, Ralph Dennis, and from the Go Gets 2.0 tag team, Mickey Nelson. The players are lined up and ready to go. Everyone's on the clock, and the fans are on the clock, so without further ado, let's have a challenge! And that was Joe Rafferty missing out on the line. In our fall preview show, he was upset by one of the other opponents in a hurry. But this time it shouldn't be much of a challenge, I hope. We'll find out soon enough as he eats the food, and he'll be off and running. He doesn't even go to rest this time. He's trying to get a win on the board after the fall preview tough loss. Right now, the other child will eat food, and there goes Al Heen Sr. He's going to have privilege of the next best standing, along with number 7 and 8. And who will get the only toss this time around? It's going to be Ricky Nelson from the Go Gets 2.0 gets it. Oh, he threw back over at the bridges. Oh, well. What a shot. Anyway, number 1 is getting left behind on the ground here, folks. As Ricky Nelson on the Go Gets 2.0. Opus is one up with back to back PS. And look at this. Ralph Dennis is to the truck on. He wants to spoil Joe Rafferty's run. But I think Joe Rafferty should have plenty of time to make the pass. Yep. Number seven will have the next command Spears. Will be numbers one and two in the dust. And it should, Joe Rafferty should be back in the lead. Yep. Number one passes for more back in the back. That means number two will leave him in the dust for a while. As number one will get the next command Spears. As we pass the one minute mark on this exciting race. Yep, Ralph Dennis had a shortcut, but Joe Rafferty made the pass and now he's back in the lead. So now he'll have a little bit of room to run more ahead of Ralph Dennis. Oh, Ralph Dennis better hurry up. He wants to get back in the lead from Joe Rafferty. We'll find out soon enough if he will get back in the lead or not. 
Who got the next P-Mars? It's back to number 7! Release numbers 1 and 2 in the dots for the second time in this race. Porn number 1 and porn number 2 are still way behind in the competition. It would be appropriate if one of them would at least get the next command SPS. And it looks like that chance will be made by number 2. So here we number 1 and dots for the second time in this race. Back in front, John Ralph Lee is pushing the whole stretch. Bob is trying to make a statement in the only one. But I think as Ricky Nelson takes the first few of space, I do believe John Raffley is going to have a little bit of feet to rumble. Yep, John Raffley is going to hold off Ralph Dennis for the victory. So John Raffley is going to rebound from her, from his tough loss during the final preview show. Yep, John Raffley is going to get the win this time. John Raffley is the winner as number one speedrun was just too late to be attended. Well done by John Raffley. He overcome Ralph Dennis' epic truck run out of town hill. And now he moves his first step towards the second half of his dream season. And we have just enough time for one more speed run on this race, and it'll be made by the license to drive out here in Sierra. He'll want him in four place behind Nicky Nelson. Alright, John Raffley has overcome his fears. That's why I knew John Raffley would find a group this week. Back in a bit, do not go away. And now, who do we have now? Race number five will feature one half of the classic go getters, Chris Schneider, along with Oliver Jones, Boston and Javo, who is the fastest swimmer of the fall pre portion of the season, and Rusty and Sylvie Pajekinson from the go getters 2.0 tag team. Let's see how they will fail in this race. Everyone ends on the clock, and they're off! And it looks like Rusty and Sylvie Pajekinson is for us. So let's watch Chris Schneider, Arbor Jones, and Buster and Jabo. These three will have command of the over the edge up in the front. But the fans say it might be Buster and Jabo who's going to win this one. He won in the fall preview show two weeks ago. That was very interesting. And it looks like Chris Schneider is going to ask. That means Buster the Jabo will have command of the lead. That's the first tip start against Beepus is. We'll see instant replay Jackie Turn, who have the privilege to battle with Arbor Jones for second place over at the Bridges. And Buster the Jabber is at the water, and there we go, swimming to the other side immediately. That was very quickly by Buster the Jabber. And Arbor Jones seems like he's also heading for the water as well. But it's Buster the Jabber who had come in on the way up in the front. At speed was number two in his face, we made by number two. Released number seven in the dots because number seven was snoozing all the way back at the bridges. <coughs> number seven is going to have a lot of catch up to do in the only one. And now another speed burst by the instant week play man himself, Rusty Jackington of the Gogas 2.0, trying to maintain second place over all the draws was win win so far in his 14 races. I highly doubt he'll get any wins for the entire season. We passed the one minute mark, and Buster and Jawa has no opponents to worry about. We are told he approaches the home stretch. That's quite very interesting. But right now, the next PS will be made by number two. Rusty Jackington and number two will alternate speed by the time they come on, by the way. And number seven is still way behind in the competition all the way in the back. But it's number one who will get that chance now. Now I'll try to lead number two in that that then meet all the way in the back. Meanwhile, Buster the Jabo seems like he has a commanding lead over Rusty Junkington and the Cam One. He made his way to a town wall, and he is going to going to take it out. But he will still have a commanding lead, especially when he approaches home stretch. Next BS belongs to number seven. He finally got speed, but that's all he's gonna get. I hope he'll get more. By the way, he'll say. Anyway, Buster the Jabba is now getting tailgated by Rusty Instant Whip by Jackerton. But in just a few moments, he should be off and running again. Right after number 8 takes his speed bus. And there he goes. Buster the Jabba is leaving Rusty Instant Whip by Jackerton in the dust. And he does it again. Buster the Jabba is the winner of this race. As number 2 will get a first few of this race, waking up from a nap. Now I'll try to number 1 does. Buster the Jabo has once again proved that swimming can sometimes prevail over running. Well, anyway, number 7 gets another speed but that's always what it gets. That makes his second speed of the race. 
Rusty Jackie Chan will come in second, followed by Winless Aubrey Jones in third place. And Chris Schneider will wrap up the race in fourth place. Alright, so what a dominating effort by Buster Njavo. That's right, he had to leave for his part on the race and he able to hold on wonderfully. Well done. We'll be right back at the these messages. Alright, time for race number six. That's right, we'll be halfway for the reservation portion of the week 14 season return show. Right at the B percent. Two-time world champion Jason Hill in race number six against Carl Tanner, Zach Orson, and the next generation superstar Antonio Bennett from the Classic Go Getters tag team. And everyone is all lined up and ready to go. It's time for another time race, so let's get to it! Please start the race! Alright, let's see who will try up in this next race. Zach Austin seems like he's on to a pretty good start. And number 7 and 8 are going to rest just about the same time. That means these two channels are going to be left behind bowing for D life all the way back at the rainbow path. Right on a child up in the front, it looks like Zach Austin has eaten food, and now he's making way towards the bridges. Which path will we be taking? He is going to be flying down the water, that's who. And who will get the only toss this time around? It's number 7, who's trying to lead numbers 2 and 8 in the dust all the way in the back. He's heading for the water, and so is number 2. Number one, meanwhile, is going to rest over at the bridges. So number eight will have the privilege to battle with him for D life all the way in the back over at the bridges. And who will get speed as number two in his face? It's two time world champion Jason Hill, who won back to back world championship titles in 2014 and 2015. Right now, it is Zach Orson who is leading over Carl Tanner as they make their way towards the next portion of the Emma course, the Sapphire portion of the course. And as we approach the one minute mark, the next speed is going to be made by the next generation superstar, Antonio Bennett of the Classic Go Getters. Poor number two is getting left behind, and so is number one. Number eight seems like he's left behind as well. Who will get the next guy to be we head back to Jason Neal, who leaves the other three still out in the dust. Back in the fun, Zach Orson sees like he has a little bit more room ahead of Carl Tanner. Carl Tanner trying his best to make a comeback here. Will it happen? We'll find out soon enough. Next BS Bronx 2, number 1. That was a beauty right there. And now he leaves number 2 in dead meat all the way in the back. And number one toss from one. So he will rejoin number two for two life all the way in the back. I don't think I won with this people at the time. Nope. So the next b is probably going to be up in the front. And it's going to be Zach Orson who gets it. He went to rest for a while. Thus giving Carl Tanner command on the lead. Now Carl Tanner has to come in the lead. Can he hold on to the lead at the whole stretch with Zach Orson? We're about to find out right now. As number eight takes the next command b it looks like Carl Tanner will be able to hold off Zach Orson for the victory. Carl Tanner is swimming away from Zach Orson and he is going to get the victory for sure. As number 8 takes back to back speed runs, you can tell me what not, but Carl Tanner, he beats out Zach Orson for the victory. After Zach ran for parts of the race earlier in the race. Well done by Carl Tanner, yeah, the Tan fan started joining Carl Tanner's moment of glory, for now, as Jason Hill will get the last speed runs on his face, and number one has no hope for surviving whatsoever, so Carl Tanner beats out Zach Orson in the past week 14's test, that's right, we'll be back for more exciting action after this, so stay tuned. Alright, welcome back to the second half of our season return show for week 14 here on Chat Racing 2018. The first half seen plenty of exciting action, and Paul, the second half should be exciting as well. That's right. So, for race number 7, to start off the second half, we have Big Cherry Tommy Days of the Days Brothers, along with Chris Finacos, Alan's younger brother Danielle Heenan, and the 2016 Vice Sons Champion, Joshua Samoa. Alright. Time for with more exciting action here in Phoenix, Arizona. Let's see what happens here. 
And they are off and running! The fans are on their feet and the superstars are making their way towards the palm trees under the rainbow path. And it looks like a couple of super chow are on going last. Now must two seven eight to be a set. Our four superstars are checking the palm trees and now they're going to eat the coconuts. And it looks like Tommy Days and Chris Vanagas are going to be bowing for the lead up in the front. Followed by Joshua Samoy in third place. And it looks like they're all heading for the water by the way it looks at it. As the first superstar to get speed by the start of the second half is number two. Who leads over the four to the child for the moment. Now taking the bridges. Number seven is getting left behind on the competition all the way in the back. He needs a lot of help to stay in the game. But let's see who's going to get Speed Rush number two. And that's Speed Rush number two. We may buy number eight. Who leads number seven in us for the current moment. Up in the front, Chris Manalcos is trying to trying to hold off the 2016 Rise of Champion, John Salmore. And Tommy Nays are bowing for second place. As number seven gets some help. That was a good Speed Rush right there. But I think he needs a lot more help than that to stay in the game. Well, approaching the one minute mark in this exciting race. Looks like Daniel Heater better hurry up if he wants to catch up to the other superstars in a hurry. These superstars are making way towards the south far portion of the course. This is why this is going to be an exciting one to remember. As we head back into number seven. That's a little bit more help that time, but he's still in last place. Just barely behind number 20. Meanwhile, up in the front, Chris Monaco is going to be the first to approach the wall. And Alex Young and sister Daniel Heenan, Alex brother Daniel Heenan, will get the next game SPS. He also wants to get back in the game. And down goes to number two for the count. That will drop down to last place. Numbers two, seven, and eight. All we really need is to get back in this one. And it's number eight who will get it. That makes sense. I guess speed to the race. And now he leads on the four, seven, chow. And look at this. Tommy Nays now has command and lead because all the other channel was going to rest. But Chris Monacos is still catching up to him, trying to get the lead back. As Daniel Heenan will get another turn, making his second speed burst of the race. And Tommy Nays is going to rest. So Chris Monacos will have command and lead for the second time in this race. And I do believe he should be able to hold on this time by uh, several inches. Yep. As number seven wakes up for us now. Takes the next game SPS, trying to make a comeback, at least all the way towards the lead of Force of a Chow. And Chris Monaco's has his ace all wrapped up. Chris Monaco's gets the victory. Now he has five wins up on his league this season. So Joshua Salmon will come in second, and Daniel Heaton will come in third. As number seven, it's better to close this one out with back to back speed bus. And that's going to do it for this race. So Chris Monaco's is back on the right track. Yup, let's see how long he will last, and there's more time coming up at the week with a message from this sponsor. And now it's time to sit for another race number 8 with something very interesting. That's right, for race number 8, we have our two co-leaders and a 10 and 4 win loss record. That they are Raymond Hill and Archie Master Efron Kingsley. They'll be joined by the son of the license to drive, Al Heen Jr., and the computer wizard, Peter Falls. This race will determine the fate of these two and the other two superstars as well. So, let's send down back to the field and present another signing edition of Week 14. Everyone is on the clock, so without further ado, we start the race! Alright, so a win by either Raymond Hill or Efron Kingsley will make them the sole possession of the lead of the 48 men at 11 and 4. The other two child can still survive if they can figure out a way to beat up them in a hurry. Right now on the 4 child are going to eat the fruit and it looks like Efron Kingsley and Peter Falls are going to have command of the lead. The other two chow were dancing to the beat back at the pond race. And who will get the only toss as FI can't say number one hand into the wall? Water? It's number two! That's who, along with Raymond Hill. And right now, number seven is also heading for the water. He's trying to get back in this one after being left behind in the competition for a while. 
the fans are on their feet trying to find out if one of our co leaders will have the sole position of the lead 11 4. We'll find out soon enough as number two, who exits out on the water, opens this one up with back to back speedruns. And look what we have here! Raymond Hill has took a shortcut! But guess who else? It's Al here Jr. the side of the license drive. That means these two gentlemen will be battling for the lead up in the front, heading into the south far portion of the course. Very interesting. As the next speed will be made by number 8. As he passed the one minute mark, he's getting left behind in competition. Right now, though, it is number 7 who is way behind in the competition. And number 8 taunts parts for one. That means number 7 will have a little bit of catch up to do. But let's see who's going to get the next command SPS. And that next PS we made by the computer wisdom himself, Peter Foles, who is trying to battle with number two for fifth place. And back up in the very front, Maymon Hill and Alvin Jr. have made it to the top of the wall. Now heading past the waterfall, and soon we'll be entering the home stretch. Who's going to win this one? Only time will tell. Next PS belongs to number eight. That makes it a second PS of the base. And number seven is still way behind in the competition all the way in the back. And it's number one who dominates over the force to a jump with the next command SPS. And right now, Mimon Hill has a little bit of room on Rumble ahead of Alvin here, Jr. He's going to win this one this week. As Peter Force takes another speed bus, Mimon Hill regains control of the self possession of the best second. And 11 to 4 with a victory tonight. He's still in the lead after all that time. And number 7 is getting left behind still. He's going to get his PMAS, but I think he's going to retain last place by just a few feet. Yeah. Out here, Junior came in second, and Efron Kingsley will come in first place. Don't worry, Efron Kingsley will do better next time. And Raymond Hill. You regain control of the lead of, four, of the 48 men with 11 and 4. That's why he's back in the lead once again, and there's more assignment coming up. Do not go away. Alright, welcome back to our season return show. Is everyone having a great time in the audience so far? Yes, we are. Still to come in our season return show this week, we have an exciting main event for you. Max Max Hansberg is going for a Spanish Final Superstar of the Week, and it should be interesting. But right now, let's proceed to race number 9, and here's Paul to tell us all about it. Thank you, Brennan. Our next race, race number 9, will feature Adrian Regetta, Ben Ron Chante, who is one half of the Yankee Amish, Frank Funataro, and Vince Dyson. They have been training well over the course of the summer. Which one of them will win a W to start off the second half of the season? We're about to find out right now. Let's fuck this place! Okay, there goes the next four superstars busting down the main path. They're trying to get wins so that they can qualify for next season's 2019 roster. Or hopefully, the 2019 playoffs at the end of the season. Well, anyway, either way, they'll all be winners here on Chow Racing 2018. Right out of four, child gonna eat the food, and there goes Frank Van Atal and Ram One Shorte with a little jab right on his tail in third place. As number one, we'll get the winning toss this time around. And look at that, he's gonna have command lead on four seven child because number eight is Corvus. Number seven is getting left behind on a competition all the way in the back of the pack. As number one, who now dominates over the four silver child early on in the race, opens this one up with back to back speed bus. Yep, he's doing a pretty good job keeping up with the pace. And look who's in the lead right now. It's Frank Valentaro over Vince Dyson by a couple of yards. As Frank Van Juan Shorte will get the next command speed bus. He represents one half of the Lucky Challenge along with Iron Fabulous Warrior Steve Wingback. Looks like A.V. Jazz trying desperately to catch up with the others along with number one. We passed the one minute mark. And who will get the next one? We're about to find out right now. It's going to be number two who gets it. Trying not to fall over at the water. And he hung on. Number seven pauses for one. That'll drop down the last place over the H.L. 
So he's going to need a couple of speed runs if he wants to get back in this one. And he gets one of them. Meanwhile, back up in front. He looks like Frank for the Tall started to get tailgated by Ben Thiessen and Manuel Chante. He was just also joining along with the pack. We'll find out who will try him in the only one. Back to number 7. And now he makes the pass for number 8 for 6th place. Now he leaves number 2 in Denby all the way in the back of the pack. Poor number 2 really needs a speed run so he wants to get back in this one. But it looks like number 8 will get that next command. Leaving number 7 and 2 in the dust. And at the home stretch, it looks like Frank Fulotaro should have his face all wrapped up, ladies and gentlemen. As number 8 gets his second consecutive second speed bus, that makes it 2 in a row by 2 in a row for number 7 and number 8, respectively. And the winner of this race is Frank Fulotaro over Vince Mason, who will come in second place. Frank Fulotaro gets number EEC bid 3. And we have time for one more speed bus that will be made by. A win with Jetta. Alright, Frank Fontal gets the victory. Right. Now he has two wins up on his sleeve. That's one summer coming up. Do not go away. Alright, Paul, time for race number 10. You got it, Brandon. Race number 10 will feature last year's runner up, Hal Miller, taking on Corey Sanchester. The Gun Star Master Garrett Dayton and Kyle Leachman. Here's a look in the lineup, and here we go. Back down to the Chow Racing Stadium course. Everyone is on a clock, and the fans are ready too. Here we go. Let's have a Chow Alright, and number seven is going to let's try to get some attention here. Uh, and it looks like Kyle Leachman is going to join number seven for two eyes. That means how Miller, Corey Sanchester, and Garrett Dayton will have the opening edge. We'll soon find out which one will pay off or not in the only one. The fans here in Phoenix are cheering on their favorite superstars, like always. And now the free charge by Ifro. And it looks like how Miller is going to have command of the lead. And look at that. He's going to have full control of the lead here uh, uh, up at the front. Because the other two channel are dancing to the beat. And there he goes. He's going to fly over there. And he actually climbed up the hill to take a shortcut! What a deal by Hal Miller! And right now it is Corey Sanchester who will start to speak us for the space. Hal Miller had the upper hand and he made his lead even bigger. By what it said, number 8 was going to rest as he will take speed rest number 2 in his face. But I think someone else took a shortcut. Yep! Yes, the guy was not massive again. Dayton, he sits in second place. Hal Miller is our current leader ahead of. Get a date to come one heading into the wall in the sapphire portion of the course. As the next speed race we made by Corey Sanchester making his second speed race of the base, but it will be a meal goal to catch up to either Hal Miller or the Gum Star Master Gary Dayton. Looks like Kyle Leachman and Seven are getting left behind in the competition. But as we pass the one minute mark, guess who's really left behind on the competition? It's number eight, that's who. We'll get the next command. It is Kyle Leachman, that's who. Now leaving number seven at us. But I think there's always next time for Kyle Leachman. He will be able to catch up all the way to first class. Anyway, how Miller is going to rest back him in the top of the wall. That means Gary Dayton will have the privilege to battle him up in the lead. Next BS belongs to number eight, who desperately needs to catch up every now and then. He needs a lot more help than that to stay in the game. Al Miller and the Gotham Star Master Garrett Dayton have both to a shortcut, but who will prevail at the home stretch? They're going to be flying towards the movie course pool at the home stretch. As we head back into number 8. That's that's two speedrunners in the ball for number 8. And it looks like Al Miller has his face all wrapped up, ladies and gentlemen. Garrett Dayton won't have enough distance to catch us when in time. As Kyle Richman takes number 10, Hal Miller beats up Garrett Dayton for the red three. They both took a shortcut, but it was Hal Miller, who was last year's Monroe, who gets the job done. He's back on the right track towards his redemption run this year, and he really means it. Well done by Hal Miller. He's, he's trying to never give up on his dreams, as Kyle Richman will get us back back to us. That makes two more by two more for number 8 and Kyle Richman respectively. And Kyle Mitch makes his first few as the race. As number 8, Barry gets his first few as the close of the race. Leaving number 7 in the dust. 
So how am I gonna get the job done? Yep, never give up, he says. Especially when it goes for redemption. Let's see how long it lasts. Back in the bit, do not go away. Alright, Paul, we have one more race to get through before we get to our main event for week 14. Here on our season return show of Challenge 2018 in Phoenix, Arizona. That's fine. The next race for Mason Lamb will feature our defending world champion, Donald Bennings, against Michael Clayton, Gary Coles, and last year's third place finalist, Glenn Murray. So we have two familiar ri rivals in the number three and number six spots, as we can see on the lineup. Let's find out who will prevail in the only one. Everyone's on guard, and we start the race! Alright, so it's Donald Bennings and Glenn Miller, two of our child feature in this next race, who will once again test their rivalry skills in a flash. Right now, these four child are making way towards the palm trees, and it looks like Gary Calls, along with number seven, all going to rest. So these two child are going to be left behind on the crowd early on in the race. Right now, the other three child are going to eat the co co coconuts, and it looks like Donald Bennings is going to have command lead, following in a close second by his rival, Glenn Murray. And as Tom Reigns heads for the water, the first superstar gets beat best is Gary Gold, who's dancing to the beat back in the Padres. Now he's trying to catch up in a hurry. Donald Mannings and Grand Murray are, are going to be bowing neck to neck at the water, heading to the other side of the Amethyst Quest. And there they are, they're at the other side of the Amethyst Quest. They're, they're, they're the best of rivals that no one will ever forget to see on Chow in 2018. And who got speed was number two is number one. That's who. Try to lead number beat out number two for sixth place. Number eight seems like he's way behind in the competition. He's in last place over at the bridges. He's trying desperately to get back in this one. And number one passes for one, which means number eight will have a little bit of catching up to do with the only one. As he will get the next class. Yes, now he'll have to push about with number one and two for survival all the way in the back. Up at the front, we have Donald Mennings trying to hold on the lead against his rival, Glenn Murray. They have become the best of rivals ever since the tag team championship and last year's world championship as well. Well, anyway, who will get the next command speed It's number seven who dominates over the fourth third Chow in fourth place. The other third Chow are getting left behind along with Michael Clayton. These Chow really want his to stay in the game, but it's Gary Coles, who will get his second speed bus in the race because it's the third place. Meanwhile, rival Star Venice and Glenn Murray are climbing up the wall. Glenn Murray is catching up a little bit. Who's going to come on top in another side chapter of the rivalry? We'll find out soon enough. Next speed bus belongs to number seven. And now he can forget about going being tailgated by the other third child. Here is the other third child. Now it's one, two, and eight, bowing for six place all the way in the back. And now we have back to Gary Coles, making his first speed bus to the race. Try one last ever to make a comeback against Glenn Murray and Donald Mennings. And now after all that, folks, we'll say Glenn Murray is going to have another win towards his redemption run this year. By what looks at, yep, no doubt about it. Michael Quinton with the next command speed Glenn Murray is going to lead Donald Mennings in the nuts. He is going to be once across the his redemption run for 2019 this year. And there you have it. Glenn Murray beats out his final Donald Mennings. And Gary Goals to win this one. And Michael Quinton quickly closes this one out with back to back speed runs. He'll wind up in fourth. Alright, Glenn Murray will lead us to the main event in the next race. Right, and we'll present the main event in just a little bit. But right now, let's see what this message has to say. All right, fans, let's do our main event for our season return show, shall we? There they are, and Paul, tell us all, all about it. For our week 14 main event, we have our two-time returning champion, Max Lex Hansberg, taking on Free Brown Chow. Dave Miller, the Miller Traders, Casey Raymond Sith, and the favorite gambler from Atlantic City, Donald Fultz. Everyone ready for the main event? Then let's have a challenge! Alright, all the money. Week 14's main event is presented by local Wendy's restaurants. They got good fries, good chicken, and of course, the best burgers voted by food critics around the globe. This is your local Wendy's restaurant and see why quality is our recipe. And right now on the 4th channel, we're going to eat the coconut chip fruit. And there goes 
Time of Faults. He is going to have command on the lead with Casey May Monson right on his tail behind number eight. And it looks like Time of Faults is flying. And it looks like he will be able to pay off his shortcut. Time of Faults pay off his shortcut. What a deal by the AC Gamble himself. As Max Max Pansper with another sign glitch. Thanks, you only times for a week 14th main event. Yep, that was another sign glitch. Did you see that? Anyway, number one is heading for the water, trying to maintain some ground over on the water. And who will get speed rest number two? It's one out of the middle traders, Dave Miller. Made the pass for four points. By now it's Casey Miller saying who leads or the best of the chow with battling with number eight for second place as they make their way towards the top of the hill. And we're approaching the one minute mark of week 14's main event here in Phoenix, Arizona. Who will get the next command speed rest? It's number seven. Who's trying number two in dust? And number one taunts for warrant. Trying to get some attention here. Max Lexinusberg might need a meal go if he wants to get his third and final superstar to week honors this week. But let's see who will get the next command speed rest. And that next speed rest we may buy number one. At least number two and seven in the dust. Back with fun. Time of Falls has reached the top of the wall. He's going to rest, but he will still have a commanding lead. No one is going to catch up to Tyler Folks. He is going to get an easy victory this week. No doubt about it for the AC Gamble himself. Next we have belongs to Casey Maywasser, who is catching up to Dave Miller for the battle for second place. Yeah, Max Lex Sandsberg is going to lose this week. But it's always the rest of the second half of the season for Max Lex Sandsberg. Trying his best to stay alive in the game. And who will get the next one? It's Dave Miller. He can forget about going to rest. He leaves Casey Miller at number one in the dust. But this place is all about the lightness in the game where Tyler Frost like, makes his way towards the goal line. As number seven makes up for his number the next class, viewers, Tyler Frost is the new superstar of the week. We place his next next chance man with that honor for week 14. Tyler Frost gets the job done. He'll be back in week 15 to try to do it again. And let's see who will get the next command speed rest. And it's going to be number two who gets it. That makes it second speed rest of the base. That should be enough to take the lead over the fourth of a child at number seven. Yep, just enough. And numbers one and eight have no hope for surviving whatsoever. As week 14th main event comes to a close. Alright, Tyler Falls wins week 14th main event. That's right, will we do it again in week 15 next week? We'll find out soon enough. Back for the information after these messages.